Good afternoon, I am live again. I feel like I was just here just a moment ago. Because I've barely cleaned up after the last one. All right. Just doing a little camera adjustment, guys. Um, if you get seasick, look away now. Oh, I've got too much paint on my hands. And I can't. There we go. There we go. Good afternoon. It is the Saturday of the Great International Craft Show, which is a fantastic online event held here in Australia by awesome creative people just like you. Today on nataliemay.com.au, we we've got lots of specials happening. These are today's specials. We have got Lindy's Gang products, 15% off. We have got All and Create products and 49er Market, also 15% off. We have 20% off of Scrap Effects and 20% off of Thickers and an additional 10% off of our clearance range. So make sure that you jump online to nataliemay.com.au and take advantage of those bargains today. Now, in my last video a little bit earlier, uh, I put the call out asking for ideas on what to do for my next live Facebook. And the consensus was to do something with heat embossing. So I'm going to do something with some heat embossing and some Lindy's Magicals. Now, on our current Facebook group, we have got an artist trading card uh, session happening. And um, I thought that I would make a background and make some make a start on some artist trading cards. So I have got here in front of me some, oh, well, actually two lots, let's put one of those down, um, some clearly clear embossing powder from Lindy's Stamp Gang. As you may or may not know, I am the Australian Master Educator for Lindy's Gang, which is basically a, a fancy way of saying I know stuff. Um, all right, so what I've got here, artist trading cards are traditionally a, a uh, I think it's three by four, and if you do an A4 page, you can get the full 12 that you generally need on a sheet. So what I'm going to do is I have got this awesome stamp from All and Create. This is stamp number 808, designed by Tracy Evans, and it is called angled a background. Now what I want to do is I want to heat emboss in clear embossing powder. So I'm going to be using a clear embossing ink. So it's going to take a little bit of preparation to do this project. Now I'm not after a perfectly perfect embossed finish. The look that I am going for, my finished product, these are some that I created for All & Create a little while ago. I did some little trenchies for them. Um, and you can see this one has got some embossing powder on it. Uh, this one here has got some embossing powder in the background, some embossed images. Uh, and these are all coloured with, with Lindy's Gang powders. So this one has got heat embossing in the leaves and the bee. Okay, this little guy here. So this is all using All and Create stencils and stamps. So I'm going to endeavour to do something similar today and create them, but in a different sort of background. Now, the stamp that I'm using is number 808, and that is a, like I said, a Tracy Evans designed stamp. Now, because I'm going to be stamping, with clear embossing ink and clear embossing powder, you'll never guess what, it's not gonna show up very well on camera. Uh, Tina's just commented saying, that's such a clean embossing pad. It certainly is. And the reason being is because I couldn't find my old embossing pad, so I had to crack open a new one. So this one is super juicy. So a couple of things for preparation when you are heat embossing is to make sure that your stamp is clean 
and make sure that your ink pad is also clean. Now, I am not after a perfect image here, so I am wanting to do almost like a partial embossing, embossed image. Now, like I said, it is really not going to show up very well on camera. And that, you're just going to have to trust me on this one. It's a little bit of a, you see a little bit of a shine happening. I'm after a partial, a partial stamp on this background. This is one of my favourite, favourite stamps. And it's stamping clear. So when you are stamping with, to do embossing, you need a ink pad that is going to take a while to dry. You don't want something that is going to dry instantly. So for example, you need to be using a, a this is a, a specific embossing powder. Um, a, sorry, a specific embossing ink. Um, but you just need to use a slow drying ink. So this is This is because what's going to happen is I'm going to tip this powder all over here and I'm going to try and completely cover everything with this powder and then we have to melt the crystals. So this piece of black here is to catch, oh, and I've already started, I've got it all over my table already. And what happens is this super fine powder sticks to... Can you see it? Is it showing? Yeah, it is. The super fine powder only sticks to the areas that we stamped. All right, so I'm just gonna pop that aside for a jiffy and I'm gonna see if I can fill a couple of little gaps. I've also managed to get embossing, <laughs> embossing, powder on my desk everywhere because that always happens but I can now go back and I can add some more and of course the powder is only going to stick to the bits that, oh yeah, that is showing up. It's only going to stick to the bits where I stamped. Okay, I'm going to pop that down there and I'm going to try and get all of this back into here. And then shake the rest onto the carpet and pretend it never happened. Okay, now we need to heat set. Okay, uh, now something else that I have is this little brush that I just scoot off all of that excess embossing powder off to the side. A makeup brush works just fine. And now I have to heat set. So this is about making all of those crystals melt. So a couple of things. You cannot do this with a hairdryer. You do need to do this with a heat tool. A dis it, it, and I'm, I'm bringing it up to camera just so that I can see it. And then I'll see if I can catch it on camera as well. What we need to do is melt these crystals. Um, I highly recommend holding your heat tool just in one place, melting the crystals. You do not need to wave your heat tool around. All that will do is, can you see that? All that will do is just disperse the heat. And we don't want to disperse the heat. We want quite an angled heat. I will just try and stand up and see if I can catch it through. Oh yeah, look. 
Can you get the reflection? So the magic is going to come in a minute when I add the colour. So you'll just have to trust me on that. But you do need to watch it. Melt the crystals. Melt that super fine embossing powder and then move on. But just holding your heat tool in the one spot is all you need to do and move it around. Move, heat those crystals, move it around. Heat those crystals, move it to the next spot. Lots of people do this. That doesn't do anything. It just disperses the heat and makes a bloody mess. So you just need to watch those areas. Now, just a friendly reminder, a heat tool is hot. Do not touch the hot embossing powder. Ow, 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 that's also hot on the other side. Can't really get footage of those crystals melting, but it does work a treat. So this works beautifully. My original plan was to do this with some white embossing powder, but I don't seem to have any in my personal stash at the moment. Uh, so I decided it would just be easier to use clear. White looks amazing. Nearly there. That's the hot bit, don't touch it. It does happen really quickly as soon as your heat gun gets up to temperature. Um, holding it in one spot, it's not going to burst into flames. You're a grown up, you can watch it before it does burst into flames. The paper that I'm using, it just occurred to me, I never checked to see if it was a, what sort of paper it was. Usually I would use a watercolour paper for this. Didn't do that, just grabbed a random one. So this might end up like my last live Facebook. All right, let's bring it up and have a bit of a look. So you can see, hopefully it's showing up on camera. You can see that pattern. All right, let's just let that cool, we'll come back down to temp and let's have a play with some Lindy's. Let's do that next. I have got here a couple of these little paint palettes. Uh, I'm going to use Lindy's Magical Powders. So I have got Foxglove Fuchsia, which is a flat magical, which means it has no shimmer. I'm going to use High Maintenance Magenta, which is, as you can see, a high shine. It is a super shimmery, Magical. So a magical is a pigment dye based powder. The pigment means it is full of colour. The dye means that it has an awesome permanency to it. The powder means that we need to activate it to get that magic to happen. So you can mix these with anything. So you can mix them with paint, you can mix them with um, um, water, you can mix them with a gel, you can mix them with lots and lots of different things. So I have been using these for years. I use them like a watercolour. I'm going to paint with them like a watercolour. Uh, this one is called Berliner Filling Fuchsia. So they, these little magicals are all available in a set. So you buy them in a set like this. This is Natalie May's Words of Wisdom set. Um, and that is the best, most cost-effective way of purchasing them. Lindy's did bring out last week, release a, a new set of magicals. Now, I do believe we have sold out of those. I do have another shipment on the way. And I do have them coming in as single individual shakers. So I cannot wait for that drop to arrive. So I am using a pipette to activate that powder. Now, the theme for the artist trading cards this month is pink or wonderland. So I've just gone the easiest option for me, pink. 
pink. And now I am going to paint this whole background pink. I'm going to use a wide brush. <gasps> Hello, Kasha. All right. I'm going to use, I was a bit excited then. Uh, poor Kasha's working her bone, hand, I'm working her to the bone. Um, all right, so as I'm activating these, I'm just giving them a little stir, right? And then I'm just going to get them on like this. And I'm going to mix all of these colours together, put them up next to each other. Woo -hoo -hoo, look at that. So the cool thing here is, and I've also got a water spray, you can see what has happened with that gorgeous embossing that we did in the background. Um, it is resisting our colour. So I'm getting in here and trying to be quite fluid so and spreading it out with a little water spray just so that it doesn't leave any marks and I get a gorgeous watercolour effect. So I've used a combination of shimmery watercolours and also the, the flat magicals. Oh, look at that. And because they are all shades of pink, they are all going to look amazing. So I'm just covering my page and I've got a really awesome bit of colour going on here. Layering these um, colours over each other, building up a really lovely base. And they're all pinks, so I'm not going to muddy up anything here. And I'm wanting it to be really beautiful and vibrant. And I'm pretty sure that I've nailed that. So I'm going to pop these in the post to Naomi. Hopefully by, or Naomi, are you doing... Are you doing Wonderland or is Linda doing, or who's doing the pink one? Whoever has, is running the pink, one of my brand ambassadors is running the pink trading card swap. Um, I will... It looks like a purple blood bath. It looks like a what? Purple blood bath. Right. Apparently this, according to All pink. the uh, untrained eye... <laughs> otherwise known as Louise. Would you like to tell the ladies what you said it looked like? A purple blood bath. It's a bit more pink than purple. Pink, yeah, pink it's, blood it's bath. It's pink. Thank you. Are so, you, are you spritzing? I am spritzing. Look at me go with my spritzer. So you can see that I have covered it completely and I'm just going over some of these areas that appear to be purple. Uh, and adding some more pink to it because the theme of the artist trading card swap is pink. Linda's doing pink. Excellent. So I will send it to Linda. Linda, lovely Linda. So I have some fantastic brand ambassadors, of course, Linda, Naomi and Jackie, who all do some incredible things for Natalie May scrapbooking. All right. So what is happening here? is I have saturated that paper and I'm just going to let it dry. Um, I might speed up that drying process just by taking off a little extra colour. And this is the way that I like to do that. So that's going to dry up a treat. I hope. Okie dokie. Now what? Now all of my little images, and now I need to put some focal point in it, on it. Focal points on it. So if I show you here, these are the ones that I created for All and Create. So I love these. These are fantastic. Um, I plan on putting these on a wall, actually. So I decided I wanted to keep it super basic. So I'm going to add some stamping to this background in a moment. But my key image here, these are done with all, all and create. The, my key image, uh, I need to choose something. So the lovely Louise and I wandered around the shop trying to work out what I can use to be a little different. 
and to um, show you know something a little bit different for our um, for my, my artist trading card swap now because the swap has just a pink base it's actually really good it means I can use just about anything that works for me so I went with pre-stamping some of these little funky fossil people so these are funky fossil stamps so this one is called love struck this one is called maths girl this one is called math boy we have got little Layla we have got sunshine we have got Daisy and finally Lola now these are all images that have been colored uh, sorry been hand-drawn by Zinsky art who designs for a fossil funky fossil and also for paper artsy so I have pre-stamped a couple of them here this is one called Rainbow Heart as well, which I couldn't find her on the shelf. We may have sold out of her, but I have stamped them. Um, and I'm totally inspired by Kasha this month. So for today, I'm just going to cut one out. So Kasha um, here in Adelaide, as you know, Kasha is one of our, our valued staff members. Oh, I've done that one. Um, but Kasha teaches a card class, a couple of card classes here a month. Now, a couple of, what did we do this month? Last month, Kasha did these ones. So this is what inspired me this time. So they colour up so nice. There is one more and I picked it up and took it off her desk and I put it somewhere safe. So this is using them. Now, Kasha has used watercolour paints for these. Now I'm going to colour them using Magicals. Pink theme, I'm going to keep with the pinks. But I've also got here, I've got a skin tone that I've pulled out to use. Um, and some super fine, gorgeous, ultra new paint brushes. And I'm going to paint their skin first. Now, rather than going over the top here and making up a big whirl of skin colour, I'm just going to use my Messy Matte and I'm going to go in with the little powder. That's a lot of powder. I'm going to put it on the side. So you don't necessarily have to have a palette. You can go straight off of here. So I'm just grabbing a little bit of powder, activating the colour, and dipping into my little puddle here. Always test before you colour because that is a lot of skin tone. So now I'm just going to use these like I would a watercolour. I need some paper towel or oh, baby wipe will do. And I can just spread out this little skin tone. Okay, this one here. So they yeah, they colour up just beautifully, just like a watercolour. And with Magicals, of course, you can go as heavy or as light as you like because you have full control over the pigment. So the pigment, of course, is that powder that we are pulling out of the um, pulling out of those little magical pots. So at the moment they look a little bit, you know, orange faced, but that's okay. I'm going to take a little bit more here like that. And I'm just going to let those sit. I'm going to grab some of this pink here and put in a little bit of pink on the cheeks on all of them. Just a little bit of detail, and now I can get in and colour their bodies. Now, because this theme is pink, let's just go in with pink. And I'm going to use that as my water. 
They are super pigmented. You can see a little bit goes a long way. And that is what I love about Lindy's. You can easily just do so much. So I'm just gonna let that sit, color my little flowers up here. I will be cutting this out, maybe in front of the telly tonight. Actually, in front of the TV tonight while the port game's on, I will be packaging. I'll be doing packaging because, you know, living the dream. I'm gonna come back to that one. Right, this one here. Let's have a look at my colours here. I've got this one. So I've got 12 of these little people to colour in. But for today's purposes, we are opting just to cover colour in one of each. So it's kind of like water colouring. This cardstock that I um, am colouring on at the moment is nothing more than Kayser Craft cardstock. Um, I'm not reinventing the wheel, which is, you know, a standard thing I like to say because I don't need to be super detailed. I don't need to go over the top here. I'm going to leave that heart and I'm going to do it in another colour in a minute. But what's making this work is the water and being able to kind of mix my own colours a little. See, I've popped a little bit of orange in the bottom of that one there. And I'm going to pop a little bit of orange in the bottom of this one here, actually. There we go. Happy with that. Sliding that over there, letting it dry. And it's always really handy. So what's... What's also making this work is letting these dry before adding in the next colour. I don't want to go in hard and try and put the next colour on because you know what happens when something's wet, it blends in together and it bleeds. So don't necessarily want to do that. So this one here, for example, has got all these awesome stripes on it, right? So I am going to do that, that and that. And then I'm going to do a different coloured pink. And I don't have a huge amount on my brush. Just enough. And I'm not pushing it too far up to the other colour. I'm just getting it done. Leaving a little bit of white to show there. But colouring it so it definitely just looks like lots of different colours of pink. Alright, so now I want to add a couple of colours for a little bit of pop of contrast. So this is my personal set of magicals that I have designed and this one is called Words of Wisdom. Just be kind cobalt, commit to it teal, don't overthink it orange. It is what it is, yellow and trust the process red. Now I'm going to come in with the yellow today because I want a yellow, a pop of yellow on that heart. So I'm just going to put the lid back on that before it all goes pear shaped. And I've cleaned my brush and I'm just going to take a little bit of powder out of the lid and mix it on here. Now, it's not showing up very well on camera, but it is super pigmented. All of my girls will have this lovely little yellow heart on them as a pop. And in fact, this one's going to have yellow on her tights with a little orange as well. Okay. Keeping it simple. Uh, they need hair. I need to colour their hair. So I have got here a, a shade of brown. This colour is called Toadstool Torp. And it is from one of the new collections, but I can't remember the name of it. It's either, it's not Northern Lights. Must be um, Enchanted Forest, Enchanted something, maybe. Louise would know. 
A little brush goes makes a big difference as well, radio. Enchanted Forest. Thank you, Linda. Oh, so close. Actually, no, I did get it, didn't I? Radio. Happy with that. Put the lid back on. It's really, really subtle. Little brown in there, but it's just enough, and that is what counts. So I have another. 12 more of these to, you know, nine more of those to colour in. But I'm going to bring it up to camera just so you can see that. Get that in shot. Yep. So she's a bit cute. She's a bit cute. I do like that two-tone down the bottom there. And she's a bit cute. Pop that aside. And I'm going to pop that aside so I don't inadvertently spill it and come back to this guy here. So now we have a much better indication of how it's looking. And I'm quickly just going to dry this paper off and then I'm going to add some stamping to it. So I need black stamping for dimension. So when I am making uh, a something like this and I've got a stamped image on it, the stamping of course is black, right? So therefore my background needs to have a little bit of black in it for balance. So I'm just drawing this from this side just so that it doesn't um, reactivate my embossing powder too much, melt it again. I just want to dry that paper off. Perfect, that'll do. And the stamp that I have handy is my Won't Let You Down stamp. Now, keeping in mind, I'm going to be cutting these up into small little areas. Uh, Fiona's asking, what is that plastic sheet? This is a heat mat. Um, I'm currently out of stock of them. Yeah, I call it a messy mat. Um, does come in handy. So what I like to do is use, just do a little bit of off stamping, just stamp, then stamp again somewhere else so that it becomes a shadow and it's not a super solid image. It's really very light, it's very organic. Um, and I'm not after a partial, I'm not after a whole image, I'm after a partial image. Okay, I'm going to put that aside, I'll bring it up to camera, and then I'm going to cut these down to show you what they look like as an artist trading card. So you can see that little bit of stamping there. Uh, paper trimmer, paper trimmer. So what size am I cutting these to, uh, Naomi? Three by three by four. Organic, I oh know. Organic's such an idiot word, isn't it? But two and a half by three and a half inches. Okay, so three and a half high. It doesn't look right for me. Okay, let's just commit to it. Three and a half. Snip. Oh, look. You're all giving it to me. Three and a half. I'll do another one. Three and a half. That will cut better if it was dry. Three and a half. By two and a half. Oh, they're so cute and so little. Two, one. Yeah, baby. Two and a half. Oh, I'm going to have plenty here.
bigger. One, two, three. I, didn't. I need 12, don't I? Do I need 12 or 9? How many people are in the swap? Or are people just grateful because, you know, they get one? Sorry. I may have messed that up. 9? Yeah, it is 9. Okay. Happy days. Right. Nearly there. these super cute little pieces which have got this lovely detail with the embossing in the background okay which is offered a resist and what I will do to finish them off is go in with a little bit more stamping so um, I might choose a different stamp very quickly I think um, Louise is going to tell me off for doing this how am I going for time good we still have to pack to go to our event tomorrow. So I still have to pack up the shop for the fourth time this month. The fourth time in 30 days to go and um, pack up for our event. Oh, I'll use that one. So we've got Tracy Scott coming tomorrow. And um, we have got a, an out-of-store location for her. Um, this little dot stamp is <laughs> ridiculously simple, but easily one of my faves. It is a funky fossil stamp, and it is designed by Claire. And it is it's really nice. But it's adding just that nice little pop of definition here. I've used this so much. As you can see, you can barely tell what it is. But it also has lost its sticky completely. Uh, I believe it came back in stock, Chrissy. Did you kill a fairy? Did I kill a fairy? Yeah. Why? Castle sent me a message. She killed a fairy. Me? Yeah. Oh, Castle needs to be a little bit more. Hey, we have got art journal marks in stock now, don't we? Yeah, they came back in stock. They came back in stock yesterday, Chrissy. Oh, thanks, Kasha. Kasha, can you explain this me killing a fairy thing? I don't know what you're talking about, darling. Sending messages to Louise saying I've killed something. Do you mean me using all of this embossing? powder everywhere which is just making a hot mess how am i going for time boss oh i know i'm working i'm working fast i'm smashing it how many cards are you making oh you know nine okay <laughs> overachieving again well linda says ten. Oh, the bloodbath <laughs> because <laughs> fairies have pink blood oh, i gotcha. see where you're going right. with this yeah. all right girls so finishing off quickly, I'm just going to finish off one here and I'm going to do a outline. And you could use a paint pen, you could use a ballpoint pen, but they do need a frame. That much is true. So I would do a bit of that. And then I'm going to take one of my little people and I'm just going to, I'm not going to cut all of her out because we're not going to see all of her. Cut her down. Cut her down, cut her legs off, cut her off at the hips. Take her with Was that, that, that too much? <laughs> Was that too much? Um, just use the bottom part. Oh, look. <laughs> You're lucky I'm not passing the scissors to you. 
Actually, that would never happen. I've Not done again. It you've, you've done it before. Are you cutting all the bits off? Yeah, I'm cutting it. Well, did you? I wouldn't fussy cut around her bits. I would if I had more time, but I don't have more today. So I'm going to go jump and a jump up there. Don't cut the person. <laughs> what do you mean, don't cut the person? I'm going to cut her legs off. That's okay. She won't mind. Because she's a stamped image. Right, there we go. With no feelings. With no feelings. Oh, mate, see, and that's why I didn't cut them off too soon. Because they they could some of it could fit. Otherwise, what's her name? <laughs> Eileen. Yeah. That's terrible. Okay, so she's going to get stuck down there. If Kasha's still messaging you. Is no, she? It's oh, it's so 10. Right. Radio. So I'm going to pop her down there. Ta-da. And then we're just going to cut her feet off. And I will find a witty little saying of some description and pop there. Hello, Pentland. How are you doing, love? Right. So there we go. How are you talking about dinosaurs? Oh, hell. Anyway. So there we go. Here is my entry into the artist trading cards for this month. I now have... A lot more colouring to do, which is fine, um, and a lot more cutting out to do. What do you do on Monday, Kasha? Mm. <laughs> Packing orders. Packing orders and cutting. All right, so there we go. So using, to, to summarise what we've just done, we have used heat embossing in the background by using number 808. So if you go to our website, nataliemay.com.au, up in the top left-hand side is the search engine, and you type in the number 808 and all and create angled backgrounds is going to come up, add to cart. We also used clear embossing ink with clear embossing powder uh, on just obviously what I thought was a watercolour paper, but apparently not. Um, we used six different pinks to colour <laughs> our background. So Lindy's Magical Powders, Lindy's are 15% off today and uh, you will absolutely love using Lindy's. Uh, Lindy's Magical Powders, we then stamped our little images here, coloured them using the same colours and a little background stamping and voila, done. So I will endeavour to get those finished by the end of the month. Is that my deadline? When's my deadline? Oh, you're not going home till they're finished. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> uh, there's a glass of wine with my name on it, my friend, and yours. All right, so there we go. You can also get 49 and market, 15% off. You can get 20% off of Scrap Effects, 10% additional on top of the already discounted prices in our clearance section, and finally, 20% off of thickers so ladies get on it make the most of these fantastic specials uh, thank you very much for joining me in with all of these fantastic lives that we've been doing this weekend you have been fabulous supporting we will be posting orders out on monday to tuesday if you are waiting to pick up your local order your local order will be ready to collect from Wednesday. So please don't pop in here at 9.30 on Monday morning because you will be bitterly disappointed. <laughs> um, have a fantastic weekend. Please spend time with your friends and family and do a little something something for yourself because you can't take it with you when you're gone. See ya.